the problem started with sacroiliac joint and then the hip and that is impacting my spine i tried um, everything under the hood i was doing a lot of research and found stem cell therapy is one of good thing i started observing uh, quite a few changes my night sleeping patterns have increased a lot uh, i can feel the movement and a little bit of uh, noise <laughs> when the joint moves so that that makes me feel good and come i mean confident that it is getting into the right shape good afternoon would you please introduce yourself and tell us where you're coming from and what brought you to swiss medical yeah i'm i'm shrikan uh, i came here from basel switzerland i was exploring a lot about uh, how to get uh, i mean what are the various options that i have for ankylosing spondylitis that i am suffering from the age 13 and it's a progressive disorder uh some people have it very aggressive progression and some people have it mild progression in my case it is doctor says it is mild progression so uh lucky on one side but uh the problem is still there but yeah so uh the problem started with sacroiliac joint and then um mainly affecting the sacroiliac region and the hip and that is impacting my spine uh due to that uh i have hunchback while walking and uh, uh stiffness in the night while sleeping in the middle of the nights i need to wake up and take few steps and go back to bed every 2 3 hours and uh, early morning stiffness and the haziness to walk long distances uh, some of these are my problems and so oh, sorry sorry i yeah. didn't mean to interrupt you sorry uh, if you could mention a little bit about the therapies you've tried throughout your life yeah i tried um everything under the hood <laughs> i tried i started with uh, allopathy uh, and then uh, tried a bit of homeopathy uh and uh, ayurvedic uh and then uh, uh physio and other things in parallel acupuncture and uh, and then i inquired a lot, i mean i was doing a lot of research on my own how to get a better treatment for this and found stem cell therapy is one of good thing uh and uh, uh i looked around for many stem therapy places around the world starting from mexico to india and everything and uh, i got treatment plans as well from all of these uh, uh hospitals and this one looked very comprehensive with a very clear plan on uh step 1 step 2 step 3 a 7 day program which covers various things and explanation around what each stage will help me with uh, and i felt this is more uh, uh clear the explanation is very clear and i was very comfortable with and i have opted for this Yeah, so yeah. still what made you choose apart from the clear treatment plan to choose Swiss Medical? Th- that's what I mentioned. I have treatment plan from them as well. Um they uh there is no mention about exosomes for example. And I was asking them what does exosome means and uh, how it will help and they have no clue. And when they are dealing regenerative therapy with stem cells and if they don't know exosomes that's a concern for me so that's why i did not opt there and then yeah it's a very similar case it's, it's some other country uh, inquiries as well and then uh, initially i thought swiss medica is within switzerland and which is very uh, accessible for me and they are they are happy to get me to their site in swiss to show their r&d but i am not uh, very keen looking into that stuff but i then i'm okay with the explanation and the plan that i got yeah i see uh, so um 
did you have any fears or obstacles before coming to a new country, maybe unfamiliar for you? And how this country treated you throughout your stay? Oh, Serbia is beautiful. Yeah, and stay is excellent, especially thanks to you. Uh, each and every step of uh, all the all the days, uh, it was uh, it's a smoothless uh, experience. Okay, uh, so um, as this is your checkup, like after four months, how it's many close months? to six months. Oh, six months. Yeah. When when were you here then? October, October. last. Yeah. Oh yes, almost yeah. six months of very fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, what kind of changes or have you started noticing? Uh, how you notice them and when? That's what people because we have a special how they say. Um, uh, there is our results if there are they are postponed. Mm -hmm. So would you please share a little bit about the yeah the changes you felt in your yeah so changes were immediate. I mean, I can notice the changes very immediately. Um, but then, uh, uh, as expected, it is very slow. In the last six months, I, I started observing uh, quite a few changes very slowly. Uh, for example, my night sleeping patterns have increased a lot. Uh, I was sleeping continuously at a stretch for six hours, seven hours. That's a good sign for me. Um, and uh, uh, and I used to feel my joints now, it, it's not like rigid, uh, I can feel the movement and a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, noise <laughs> when the joint moves. So that, that makes me feel good and come, I mean confident that it is getting into the right shape. And uh, yeah, uh, at least the junctions where it is done, uh, the injections were made. I think those places are much more effective than uh, the other parts, but I think uh, it's a process, it will take time. I see. So uh, now you're on a three day checkup. Correct. What does it, does it include? Uh, this, uh, I was thinking more of. Uh, uh, only check up and see that there are no uh, either side effects or uh, it's in the progressive and uh, on the progress side. Um, but Dr. Igor uh, was very helpful and he was able to look into some of the scans and says, I need some um, NSAID in some joint. And he made that yesterday. Uh, yeah, so. It, so far so good and uh, you know, today and tomorrow it's going to be physiotherapy and so have you mentioned to your doctor before leaving for the stem cell therapy to serbia back in october that you were going to do that and if you did uh, what was his what were his comments uh my physician in swiss mm -hmm. oh no um no one is authoritatively saying go for it okay so they are, you can take chance, um, and especially it is not covered in uh, insurance, and it's not pro perhaps it's not even allowed in Swiss. I'm not sure. So they're like they are also studying a lot, but they have no first-hand experience. They neither have recommendation nor uh, uh, objecting it. And have you commented on your experience afterwards to him? Yeah, so th this is something he is also noticing now and he says yes, but they need guidelines. Uh, they need some uh, FDA or somebody to say that it works. I mean, it's not me or some organization says it's working for me. Um, a little bit about, um, I mean, we are doing these uh, short videos to share your experience with the others having the same problem, yeah. maybe somebody out there having yeah, it and exactly. having no solution yeah. and maybe you are the one um, guiding him through this, uh, yeah. showing him the beginning. So uh, what kind of challenges are you do you face in your everyday life or how your life is different from other people having this diagnosis? Does it affect your life, everyday life? Yeah. yeah. It, Apart it, from the sleep? Uh, yeah, it affects. Uh, but I mean, more or less now I got used to. I mean, for example, I cannot 
normally tie my lace by bending i need to take it here and do it so there are certain compromises that that got into my mind and my routine uh, yeah yeah there are quite a few compromises uh, like that so you need to to do the, like uh, i used to be like that when i was i was pregnant yeah, yeah so yeah, you yeah. choose something without laces <laughs> or on the um, on the side velcro. track yes, <laughs> yes yeah yeah I see. So yeah. you you do have uh, challenges, but you try to manage. Yeah, you I try to manage very well. So uh, I, I mean, to that extent. Yeah. Uh, so, so so what kind of advice would you give to a person uh, facing the same uh, health issues in his life? Yeah, what I also know is ankylosing spondylitis. Because you had a really, re- yeah. you you have a really long experience yes. of managing yes. it. Yes. Uh, All together, I'm not talking about. Stem not cell. only stem cell. Yes, yeah. I, I I understand. And at the same time, it doesn't applicable to all. Ankylosing spondylitis is very unique. For some people, it is very aggressive. For some people, it's mild progressing. For some people, the graph is very fluctuating with different individuals. I'm not sure my suggestion on this line will work for some for someone uh, who is having very active uh, ankylosing spondylitis. So, uh, and in between, I have gone for some advanced therapy. I, I forgot to mention earlier, it is called uh, Humira. It is anti-TNF drug, uh, which is killing my immunity completely down. With one injection, the pain is completely gone and uh, uh, the movements, everything is quite fine within a day. Uh, but my other immunity uh, has taken a big toll. So somebody around sneezes, uh, I I used to run away. <laughs> so it it is that bad. And Humira, I started with one one injection a month recommendation, and eventually the dosage has to increase. It has it has come down to once in two weeks, and then it came down to once a week, and then I realized this is not sustainable. So, uh, having tried everything from uh, allopathy to uh, Ayurvedic, homeopathy and this one, I think apart from the treatments, the general lifestyle itself, uh, I think I have to keep it very uh, cool and quiet uh, with food and uh, what I take, uh, keep it very light digestive food and keep the mobility on uh, as much as possible uh, those are certain things helping me thank you thank you very much